One question I get all the time is, how do I center a spry menu system that's horizontal and center it horizontally on the page? And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I've got a space for my spry menu bar right here in this div, and I just you know put a little div in there just to show you guys this. You can insert these on any existing page or any new page you've got. If I come over to the insert panel on the right, I'll see I've got my spry category I chose. And what I'm going to do is scroll down here, and I should be able to see spry menu bar. If you guys already have one, you can skip most of this, but I'm going to insert it now. It's going to ask me to insert horizontal or vertical. I want to do horizontal to have it go across. I'll click OK. It just puts it on the page. Now, of course, we could go through and change all of these items. These are just text, and this is just an unordered list that we could change. But I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on just how to center the entire navigation bar, navigation system here. If I click on the Aqua bar right here and take a look at the property inspector, I'll see that we've got all the properties down here. Now, when you guys do insert a spry menu bar, it inserts some, some other features, some other things that it needs to get this to work. If you take a look up top, you're going to see it uses a little bit of JavaScript and it uses some CSS. Now, I'm going to save my file. I'll do a file save. And it's going to show you all the things that are going to get copied into your site folder. Typically, you want to have a site set up when you do a spry like this. It just kind of keeps everything together for you. I'll click OK. If I take a look down here, I'll see the spry assets folder. There we go. Now, we need to figure out how we're going to center this thing. To center it, we're going to use CSS. Okay, so if I take a look on the right, I'll see the CSS styles panel. I'll double click. You're going to see that it inserts or attaches an external style sheet called spry menu bar horizontal.css. Now we've got lots of styles here that you can choose from. As a matter of fact, there are a ton of styles, okay? And if you're brand new to CSS, you're probably looking at this going, well, uh, <laughs> I have no clue. But one thing you guys can do is if you're looking at these styles, and if you're just trying to make simple changes, let's say you're trying to change some color of the text, something like that. If you have the nav bar selected, you can come to the property inspector down here and click customize this widget. What it'll do is it'll open up the browser and show you some things you can do to find out which styles you need to change. I know exactly which ones we need to change. So what I want to do is just center this thing right out. If I come up to UL menu bar horizontal right here, double click on it or click to see the properties, it's going to open up the CSS rule definition dialog box. Now, we are going to do two things here, and it's going to be to the same style. We're going to take this unordered list, the entire menu, and we're going to give it an actual width. Right now, it's got a width of auto. Then what we're going to do is we're going to apply the secret centering to it. If I come to the box category right here, I'm going to see a width of auto. Now, we want to change that. We want to give this an actual dimension. Here's how we figure out the width, you guys. Each list item is 8M in width. I know that for a fact. Now, how do I know that? <laughs> because of this. Let me cancel here. I'll show you this. If I come in here and take a look, you'll see a style called ul.menubarhorizontal.li. I'm going to click on that. You'll see all the properties down here. I'm going to scroll down. You guys are going to see width 8M. Each one of these list items is 8M in width. So if we want to put a width on the navbar system here, the whole thing, we want to just take that 8M and multiply it times however many we have. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 32. Okay, so we're going to put it at 32M. Now, if you guys know much about CSS, things like that, sometimes you have to watch out for the borders if they're put on there or the padding, things like that. So we should be okay, though. I'm going to come to the UL menu bar horizontal again. Double click to open it. Come to box. Come to width. And I'll put 32 and change this to M. Now, you can use pixels if you want, but it's got to match four times what each one of these is. I'll click apply. And you guys, nothing should change. Okay, you got to go test it in your browsers just to make sure because sometimes you have to, like I said, account for padding and account for borders. The last thing we're going to do to center this, it's just like centering any other div out there. We're going to apply margin. If I come to margin, turn off same for all or deselect it. Come to the right, apply auto right and auto left. Click apply, take a look, you've got it centered. Now, like I said, in certain browsers, you're going to have to watch out for the width here. If you guys have added padding or anything like that, you got to make sure everything adds up. But here's the secret right here, the re left and right auto margin. If I click OK, I've got it set out there. It's going to track directly in the center of whatever containing element it's inside of. So if it's inside of a div, it'll track in the center, which is really cool. That's it. That's what it takes to center your Spry menu system. So 
Not that bad once you get the hang of it. There's a lot of things you guys can do with this, including adding other styles, a lot of other things we can do to make this look a lot better.